Good morning, Classified Collectors. Yes, another one hot off the shelves of Target. The Tiger Force exclusive Rakondo. And we're going to get him out of his packaging and take a close-up look at him and do a review. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you guys, you're going to have a few more chances to enter to win a Walmart exclusive retro card back Baroness or Lady J. I extended out the... The way that you get entered in for a chance to win one of those two figures is simply by leaving a comment with your favorite G.I. Joe character or a figure that you would love to see Hasbro make somewhere down the road for the classified line. That's all you got to do for a chance to win. So let's get Rakondo out of the box and see what Lenina's crew have done with this figure. We've got Rakondo out of his packaging and... Let's start off with his accessories. He's got his backpack. And with the backpack, I noticed it's got the bedroll up here on the top. And it looks like it's a separate piece. And I tried pulling on it, tugging on it, not forcing it, but it's on there good. I like this backpack. I think it would have been a cool feature if Hasbro made this removable. Just a suggestion down the road, guys. Because we know you're going to give us a regular Rakondo. Um, he comes with his pistol. He comes with his rifle. And the magazine is already in it. He comes with this insanely huge bush knife. It's not a knife. Um, kukuri. And his hat. Now, the vibes. Taking him out of the packaging. The vibes I'm getting from this figure with the face sculpt is he's not from Texas. He looks like he's from Australia. Like he's like he's about to wrestle an alligator. Like she's a beaut, especially, you know, and for those of you, you might get the reference. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Uh, I like <laughs> this is. I like this. This is kind of cool. Um, I like what they did with the rifle. The magazine is in it, so you don't have to worry about losing it when taking it out of the packaging. They did do a wrap on it in a couple places, and they gave it some Art Deco to make it stand out, and I like that. That's really cool. The pistol is a little tiny, uh, maybe Sig or uh, maybe a Smith & Wesson. Who knows? Um, but the Pistol does have a hole in the front, so you can put a blast effect. So we know somewhere down the line, Hasbro's going to give us figures with blast effects. Or maybe an accessory pack with extra weapons and blast effects. That'd be cool, Hasbro. Hint, hint. Um, also in the rifle, there's a hole in the front. And his hat. It, this is supposed to be a Calvary-style hat. But it really screams... Australian to me. And you'll understand why when I bring them closer. This head sculpt is by far one of the most beautiful head sculpts that Lenny and his team has done. He's got that big handlebar mustache and his look is like he's determined and the hair. The hair is really cool. It comes down and flares in the back. Hasbro, Lenny, this is one of the best head sculpts you guys have made to date. Looking at some of the other features, I wish they did the new torso bend in them. Vice, the old one. He still has the old one. But I can understand why. Because of the three-point holster for his pistol. The lower piece here is a separate piece. There's no holders on it. And he has the insanely huge thigh sheath for that knife. Um, I like the coloration. I like the black with the green and the, the yellowish tiger stripes. And his boots. Let's look at his boots. These definitely scream, I'm in the jungle. There's a two-tone coloration to them. And he's going to blend in down under. I keep saying down under because right now in my head, I hear men at work going, 
I come from a land down under. YouTube, please don't bump my video once this goes up because I'm not monetized. Um, I'm just referencing. I'm not actually playing the music. But let's put his accessories on and give you guys a 360 look and go over his articulation. Before we give you guys a 360 view of him, he has the same articulation as the rest of the figures. Um, the head has some nice up and down, side to side movement. Um, they are doing something different that the neck is actually a separate piece from the upper part of the body and the head. I think some of the older figures, the neck was sculpted into the upper body. The elbows and the knees are pinless and they are double jointed. One of the things that I noticed here, and I missed it before, they gave him a watch. I don't remember if one of the other figures had a watch, but I like that. It's a really cool touch. Um, it would have been nice if Hasbro put something on the backpack for the rifle to attach to it. Because if Rakondo is out in the jungles or down in Australia or in a heavily wooded area and he's using the kukri to cut his way through, he's not going to be wanting to carry his rifle. So it would have been nice to see them put something on the backpack for him to, to put the rifle there. I, I'm i in love with this figure. I like it. Um, he would probably make my top 20 pick for figures that have been released to date. But let's give you guys a 360 look of Rakondo and his insanely huge knife. I, I wish I had my Croc Master and Fiona out because I would pose him doing some alligator crocodile wrestling thing. It's early in the morning. I, I'm i going on a tangent. So let's get back to the figure, guys. So now you guys can get a full 360 look of Rakondo. Hopefully in the future, Hasbro will add figure stands with the figures. You, The figure stands I'm using, you can pick up on Amazon. They are not that expensive. Um, but it would be nice to see Hasbro add figure stands in. It would be a nice touch. I love this figure. I, I really don't have anything else more I can say about it that other than it's an amazing looking figure. I love it. And for those of you classified collectors that have received yours or found one in a tar local Target, I hope you guys like it and love it as much as I do. And... If you guys enjoy the action figure reviews I'm bringing to you guys, please remember, click that like, share, and subscribe button. It shows your support of the reviews that I'm doing. And until the next video, stay safe, stay warm, and be kind.